Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Chris Dale and we're doing the over the wire war game, specifically those called Natus, and those are web challenges. We're on level number six, Natus six, actually level number seven, but who cares? And we're gonna see if we can break into this type of challenge here. It says input secret, submit query, and also we have this little nice button called view source code. Now, this is what I love about Over the Wire's war games, especially this one. They allow you to browse parts of the source code to aid you in your endeavors of breaking the challenges. A lot of times within pen testing and also within capture the flags and war games like these, you are fumbling in the dark. You're blind. You don't know where to go. You got to do guessing and it can be quite frustrating uh, especially in some levels where you got to like pick the developers brain to figure out what they actually intended with this level having this source code gives us a bit of edge it gives us it allows us to more in depth research what type of vulnerability will be present here and and i really love this about these challenges so Let's take a look at this page. So before we start hacking anything, always try the application, like always see what the functionality is all about before you try breaking the functionality. If you don't know how it's supposed to behave, it's so much harder to hack it. So input secret, let's try hack. Wrong secret, all right. So, so this is where we can start all kinds of special characters and we can like, does anything happen when we input something weird here? And it just says wrong secret. We can look at the source code and it's pretty, it's pretty simple. There is no stuff in the source code. So kind of, kind of resemble, kind of looks to me like there is no client side variabilities here anymore. Um, like we did before, we can take a look at the headers, but it's probably not going to give us anything. Refresh the page, click next, and I mean, there's no cookies here. There does not seem to be anything being revealed in the headers as well. So instead of doing a bunch of different guesswork here, we're going to take a look at the source code and analyze what might be going on here. Open up the source code, <clears throat> and this is the, the, the actual source code that we're, we're actually running on this index.php up here. So they have, in many cases, they will redact information from the source code that is considered to be too revealing, things that would break the challenge. For example, the password for NATA 7 is censored. So they have actually redacted that information, which is good. So our challenge is to figure out this this secret here, this post, this post secret that we're inputting. So so they're checking this value. So when we send in some kind of post query here, so we're doing a post to index.php, the data is being added down here. So secret equals test. This is what will be put into this array, this post array here, in the secret variable. So right now this post equals test. And it's checking to see, it's not checking in a good way, mind you. We might have a challenge on that later. But it's checking to see if test equals this variable, this variable secret. So secret can be anything, but what is secret? Um, it doesn't say secret is not defined here, but we do have an include. We even have a folder here called includes, and we have a secret.inc. Ooh, very, very hard, right? Mm. So let's take a look at Let's take a look at the includes folder. Is there any directory listing turned on? No, there's not. Uh, is there this file? What happens when we try to open this file? Will it be rendered in clear text or will it be run as a PHP executable script? That is probably what's gonna reveal this, uh, this challenge. Open up secrets.inc and it seems like it doesn't return anything. Uh, this is very common for PHP scripts and so on. This is not a PHP script though. So unless they have tuned their web server to actually consider ink files as PHP code, there could be something revealed in the output of this script even now. And in this case, we can see that, yes, this is actually PHP code. There is actually, it's, it's just hidden. It's not being rendered as HTML. And there is actually a secret variable. Secret variable is this string, which kind of looks funny to me. Maybe there's something to decode here for another challenge later on. But if we input this secret, uh, hopefully we will have this value equals this value then. So we post this secret, meaning this equal signs here will render true. We will get into this part of the if statement, which should reveal 
the password and lo and behold there we go level seven so I'm not going to hold on I don't think there's too much to say about that type of vulnerabilities uh, quite common in the old days to see uh, developers adding these folders with includes and, and renaming the extensions to differentiate them from other PHP scripts and the web server would simply just push out the contents in the inc inc uh, files whenever a user would request them directly not parsing them as PHP code and thus revealing secrets. So the patch here would be to actually make sure that this secrets.inc is actually being treated as a PHP file. I would just rename it to .php and we would not have this information leak. So this is the password for Natus8. Let's try it out. Natus8, paste it in. Oh, did I copy, did I mistakenly copy an extra uh, space there maybe? Oh, Natus6, Natus7, where, Natus7? Let's try NATA 7. Yes, I, I got a bit uh, carried away there. We're on NATA 7, not NATA 8. And that concludes this video. Hope to see you in the next video. We're going to get more and more hard. It's going to get progressively harder. And I'm guessing in a few levels, we'll get into more challenging vulnerabilities that, that will actually hopefully teach you guys something about that hacking. All right, so see you next time then. Bye-bye.